Okay, guys, it's me. I'm back. I uh, wanted to show you guys some of the things I got this last weekend. Uh, yesterday, I was out with my mom. Uh, did that kind of thing. I thought, you know what? She had to. She had to get home. So after she left, I decided to pay my old, my friend Dennis a visit again. He hadn't called me back yet, so I was uh, impatient and and uh, so I went and I drove to his house. And my heart sank because I saw the the realtor's lock on the door, and I got oh gosh, I didn't see any cars in the driveway or anything. So I went and I knocked on the door. His wife was there. I said, oh yeah, he uh, he was gonna call you back. He just left. We'll be back in like 30 minutes. So I took the kids to McDonald's. He called me back and said, Brian, come on over. And uh, so I was, you know, my heart skipped a beat. I went. I mean, how how many times are you able to, you know, repick a mega pick? I mean, I don't. It's never happened to me. I don't know. It can't happen very much. But anyway, the the ultimate end was an amazing collection. And again, I, this is this is ridiculous kind of stuff. Let me start with the good stuff. Um, these mod. I, I got a lot more magazines and models this time. But uh, these are the best of the best. Um, let me show them to you a little more up close. This is the uh, challenge, uh, the Charger Street Machine. Uh, this is a 1 16th scale model. A lot of those sell for a lot more, I'm finding out. So this should sell for between $75 and $100. Same thing with Gene, Sh Gene Snow's Rebel S Snowman. Okay, same thing. $75 to $100 range. I'm not sure what to think about this Buddy Baker. Buddy Barker. <laughs> Yeah, Buddy Baker's NASCAR Charger. Uh, it seems to be in that same range, but I don't know. I thought the Dukes of Hazard would be worth more, but it doesn't seem to be. Maybe about $25 ish. Uh, this one, Don Garlitz uh, Dragster, uh, 116 scale model. Looks like it sells really well. And the top one is sealed. It's like a three in one pack of muscle cars. Uh, that should sell for about $30. So, all together over there, you know, we're looking at about $350. Uh, so, awesome. Okay, back over here, I got a couple of these collectible uh, die-cast things in the box. Uh, this one's maybe in the maybe twenty to twenty-five dollar range. The Don Garlitz one. The only two I found were selling for eighty-nine ninety-five, but they were buying now, so you know you never know what to think. Okay, end up getting several of these cases, the little ones, and you can't really tell. I got like five or six of the big ones stacked back there. Got some more of these uh, models. Some of them are built really nicely, you can tell, uh, and then some of them are, are patched together. A couple of these I think are really nice. They're from uh, Johan or Johan, and um, they look like they're built pretty nice. And the, the hoods in there it just came off. So anyway, this is, this is more of the uh, parts one. But again, these are all Plymouth Chrysler from the uh, 60s and 70s, early 70s. There's some more in there. I can't even. This box right here is actually full of parts. Nothing but little parts, extra wheels, kind of like this. So, awesome stuff. Okay, let me get to the magazines. All all that stuff there is my pick from last week, or the two weeks ago. These are, I didn't count every one. Probably in the neighborhood of 1,500 car magazines. They are um, car review, car craft. Hot rodding, hot rod, drag racing, rotting. Um, oh, I, I can't remember. I'm, I'm sure there's more. Four by four, off road. These are like kind of more local stuff. Uh, four wheeler magazine, off road. Peterson's four wheel and off road. Super stock. Street performance. Chevy high performance. There's a Pontiac magazines in here somewhere. Okay. So, I mean, uh, there's a lot of stuff in here from, it goes from like the late 60s, actually mid to late 60s, uh, there's a lot of 70s, and there's uh, a lot of 80s, and, and then 90s as well. I mean, some of these, they, they're around 10 or $15 a piece, and then they go all the way down to, you know, something I really can't sell individually, you have to sell them as a lot. So my thinking is to do some of the older ones individually. In uh, you know, in the ten to fifteen dollar range, and then uh, the ones that, that aren't so popular, I may you know put the whole year together, 
and sell it as a lot, you know, for 20 bucks or something. I don't know. I'll just have to do my research more on these. I've just done a real cursory search on what I think I can get for some of these. But anyway, I also scored these prints with a lot of, uh, some of them are prints. Some of them are old pictures. Some of them are actually copies of pictures. So I don't know. These are all from drag racing. Some of these, those are actually real pictures there. Um, these are like prints that some guy did. I found a couple of his on eBay, but they didn't look like they were selling for a whole lot, so let me put those together as a lot. I thought that picture was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, guys on fire. That would probably be me. Um, so anyway, i got some pictures here of guys. Drag racing stuff. Okay. So this is 28 I don't know if they meant $28, but who knows. So anyway, all this stuff, it was... I went down, went through his, his stuff for probably 30 minutes again, and I, I still am leaving a lot of motorcycle stuff, but, you know, in the end, I ended up doing really good again. It took us, you know, probably 30 minutes to get the stuff together and finalize the deal, and then it took me 30 minutes to load up my car. He actually had these all in tubs, and uh, he wanted to keep them because he's moving. So in the end, you know, I offered, I offered him 250 bucks, same price I ended up at last time. And uh, he he came back at four hundred, and I'm like, oh, you know, I didn't even have that much money with me. So I said, look, here's the thing, you know, I, I spent two hundred and sixty dollars last time. I got three hundred and ten dollars. I said, I will take you. I'll take all the stuff, and I will carry it up your ba up your stairs, load it all. You can keep your tubs for three hundred and ten dollars. That's what he ended up doing. Um. So anyway, just for the model stuff over there and over there, I think I got about $800, hopefully a little bit more. Um, and then the magazines are all just gravy, um, you know, 10 and 15 apiece for some of them. Some of them, like I said, a lot together, but who knows? I'm not even going to throw a number out there because I don't want to sound stupid, but I, I think I can make a lot of money. So anyway, this is Mega Pick Part 2. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I leave comments, especially if you know anything about this stuff. I really don't. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I uh, look forward to seeing your comments.